Hello and welcome to another Let's Eat Blind video with Nia Rambler and this time we're going to be looking at not Ben and Jerry's cookie dough ice cream or this Reese's peanut butter tree zabrez something but instead we're going to look at something that I found out on the Cinema Snobs channel specifically Brad Jones the guy who created it um, he likes to do these sort of uh, food videos similar to me but of course he's been doing it before me um, and recently he did one of a very interesting food that I had to try for myself and I'll put a link in the description below to his channel and his video on this but I gotta say that the reason why we have the ice cream and this although I'll get to this in a bit is that for this particular food item it's going to Hoyt oh yes introducing a Merry Christmas from a Brit in Canada because I got this from Canada thank you very much you know if you know who you are you're very kind, although I have to say Merry Christmas and this at the same time implies very mixed messages. But still, I appreciate it. Thank you. Anyway, this is the food. It is a Pakwai Tortilla Chips, or actually specifically, it's one Tortilla Chip. It is the Carolina Reaper Madness Chip, specifically the One Chip Challenge. So, yeah, essentially what this is, is this is a hand-cooked tortilla chip or tortilla trip, I apologise if I've mispronounced that, that is coated in ghost pepper, or reaper pepper, or ghost reaper pepper, or something like that. And, yeah, it's it's very, very hot. <laughs> Look, there's a picture of the Grim Reaper, and it says, Deadly Heat, Five Flames. So you know this means business. Also, the package is, as you may be aware, of a coffin. So I might die after doing this video, or even during it, and therefore never finish it. But yes, old Brad tried one of these, and it was the first time I heard of it through his channel. And essentially what it is, is, as it says in the bottom, it's the one chip challenge. So all you get is one tortilla chip coated in this uh, Grim Reaper or Ghost Reaper pepper, and you just have to survive, and that's pretty much it. Um, but I like spicy challenges. I really do um, um, but I know I'm going to suffer miserably with this one because I believe the Scoville rating or the the measure that they have to give something its hotness is 2 million so it's at the top end of that scorpion chili chocolate I had a while back so yeah and it's only on one tortilla chip as well <laughs> <laughs> so yeah this is gonna hoit um this is also quite expensive it's really hard to find uh, in the uk because it doesn't actually come from the uk i don't even know where it actually comes from um i doubt you can see the blur because of the red and black text but sometimes you say you can um apparently it is distributed by pakai if i'm pronouncing that right or pakwai from austin texas so i believe this is a texas thing then but i got it from canada so yeah that makes sense maybe there's a texas in canada that nobody knows about who knows then again it was a brit from canada who sent this to me from texas no got this from texas brought it to canada sent it to me and is british to me in britain so yeah wrap your head around that it was also quite expensive as well but probably because you know it's a one-off food item uh, again is not really available in the uk but whatever i wanted to buy it to have a go and put it on my channel because i'm an idiot it says actually on the top right actually which you won't be able to see due to the poor lighting um it says in a little white bubble here where my uh, blackened thumb is and the only reason why that is it's a blood blister i injured my thumb is it said it was made with the hottest pepper in the world apparently yes i don't know if it is or not i really don't know my uh, chilies or peppers to be honest with you but i'll take its word for it look it's only 2.5 grams woot but i really do love the packaging of this packaging is just absolutely fantastic it really is and it gets better as well there's a bit of blurb on the top which i'm going to read it says do you dare to go to hell and back well i'm going there anyway so i suppose a quick uh, window viewing of it might get me prepared for it when i do end up down there or maybe this is a ticket down there and i shan't come back but either way I might as well. It says this chip is crazy hot and not for the faint of heart. Well, luckily, I'm just a really, really big fat idiot, so we should be fine there. Or stomach. Well, I think my stomach is pretty much dead already. It's been abused with so much fattening foods as of late that, yeah, I think this will probably just annoy it more than anything. Uh, it says heat seekers may eat at their own risk. Not everyone will enjoy the extreme heat. Not everyone will enjoy the extreme heat. I think you mean no one. If the heat is too much for you, try drinking milk or eating ice cream. Hence the ice cream, because I'm probably going to need it. Uh, do not eat if you are sensitive to spicy foods, allergic to peppers, nightshades, or capsian, capsicin, 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 I don't know what that is. Huh, interesting, but I don't know, well, I'll find out. 
or are pregnant well i've got a food baby but i'm not really a baby so i should be all right or have any medical condition to which i don't think i have but i probably will have one after this keep out of reach of children after touching the chip wash your hands with soap and do not touch your eyes or other sensitive areas yes you're not really supposed to actually touch this so i'm going to try and eat it out of the wrapper but then again i suppose maybe it won't matter because you really want to see this um, it says at the back take the uh, hashtag one chip challenge and you get a free gift for every daring soul i'm going to see if i can get that although i really don't know if it's possible or not Though it says no purchase necessary, so yeah, I guess there's no purchase for this or something. Oh, I don't know. Anyway, um, it's one chip, basically. It serves one person, as you might have guessed. It's got 10 calories, of which 5 is fat. So total fat is 0.5 grams, 1% DV, whatever that means. Saturated fat is nothing. Trans fat's nothing. Cholesterol's nothing. Sodium's 15 milligrams, or 1%. Uh, total carb, 1 gram, no percent DV fiber no grams sugar no grams protein no grams in other words this is basically just going to kill you and that's about it uh the actual ingredients are ground corn canola oil carolina reaper pepper ah oh, so there you go i was getting it wrong in the first place and the ingredients are on the bottom left there uh ghost pepper oh wait no there is two types of pepper so which one's the hottest pepper then oh whatever sea salts chipolate pepper powder and yeast extract so yeah all in a healthy tortilla chip uh, it's hand cooked as well and luckily there is no artificial ingredients and non-genetically modified ingredients as well isn't that nice one chip equals homemade hell marvelous okay then well it's about time i got on with this so let's get this open then and unfortunately i've, I've just realized it's sellotaped on the bottom i must get myself a key to unwrap this here we go because keys are good use, uh, good secondary tools to whatever it is they need to be used for. Urgh. There we go. Oh god. Nope. It's, yep, it's it. We're in. Almost through the top now. And a one and a two and a. Urgh. Oh god. Really doesn't want me to get in there. Probably for good reason, but I've just knocked the camera as well. Urgh. Yes, there we go. And we're done. Readjusting. <sighs> Here it is. <coughs> okay. Uh, let's have a look at the box then. Oh god, there's more stuff in the back. All oh, right, okay. There's no turning back once you enter homemade hell. The Reaper is waiting. Any last words? Uh, yes. Um, I can't think of any. There's my last word. So that's that. Uh, and then think you can handle the heat. Just some more blurb and stuff. And how to enter the one chip challenge. I'll take a video of your attempt or a picture of your reaction. Oh, right. Well, I won't be able to get it then. Oh, what a load. Oh, free bag of Pakai chips with participation. Every submission and it's you for a chance to win the grand prize. Three grand prize winners will win a year's supply of Pakai chips and a GoPro Hero 4 Silver. What bloody hell is that? Oh, I don't know. Well, I'm not really interested in the free gift then. Because if it's just a free pack of crisps, it's not really worth it, is it? Yes, I've managed to survive your hellish chip on Earth. And you can only give me a packet of crisps and returns. I was hoping it would be a t-shirt or something, but oh well. Whatever. And here it is. Fear the Reaper. Don't fear the Reaper. It's a song that's actually pretty good. So yeah, there it is. Um, I'm actually going to do this. And I'm really nervous because I'm not really that well prepared. Where's my spoon? I had a spoon earlier. Ah, there's my spoon because I'm going to need that for the ice cream. Although, to be honest with you, I highly doubt I'll use the spoon. I'll just tear open the lid and then just stick my tongue on it and then that'll do. All right, let's do this. Oh, there it is. That is... All right, I am going to hold it. I shouldn't really, but I'm going to. Yeah, I can already sense and feel the spiciness from it already. There you go. One tortilla chip it's slightly browner on the one side than the other so i imagine all the peppers on this side oh boy this is gonna hoit all right then well here goes nothing cheers to you all thanks for all of your support and viewership so far you've been fantastic i don't know why i say viewership because it kind of makes it artificial really but you know what i mean uh keep them coming if you want um this might be the last video i ever do yeah anyway time to put it off no longer here we go um Oh god. <coughs> um it's stale. But it's not oh my god. <laughs> it's so hot. Um Well, I say it's hot. Oh god. Um whew. Yeah. Um it, it's a lot more impactful than that chocolate was. Oh, it's growing in heat. Oh, here we go. Yeah. Oh, God. <sighs> Whew. That is hot. <sighs> Whew. 
Okay, yeah. <coughs> yeah, that's hot. A lot hotter than the uh, than the chocolate. Oh God. Whew. I'm tearing up. Well, it's hot, but it's weird. It feels like my tongue's on fire, but not uncomfortably so. Oh God. Whew. Oh. Yeah, I'm gonna need the ice cream. Oh God, hot. There we go. Oh God, I am tearing up. Uh, uh, oh, uh, that's not working. <laughs> oh, mm, mm, mm. Okay. Mm, mm. Mmm. Mmm. That's all I can say is mmm. Mmm. Well. Oh god, it's still hot. The ice cream works, but only momentarily. Mmm. 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 That is hot. That's going to keep my tongue on fire for like half an hour. Oh my god. Mmm. Mmm. I wish I could make different noises. It is very hot. Oh my god. Mmm. It's literally like your tongue is on fire. Mmm. The ice cream gives temporary relief. But not only as soon as the ice cream goes away, the fire comes back with a vengeance. Oh. Mmm. Yeah, that's hot. Mmm. Oh my god. It's... It's a hot... Mmm. I can't speak. Mmm. <laughs> It's like a localised hotness. It's only on the tongue. Unlike the... Uh... Oh god, that is so hot. Oh my god. Oh. Mm. Mm. I can't speak. <laughs> mm. Mm. I'm glad I got ice cream. Mm. Oh god. That is really hot. It is really hot. Um, it doesn't really get you at first. I mean, it's hot, but you think you can handle it, and then you can't. <laughs> but for some reason, oh my god, I'm gonna try and speak without it. It, yeah, it really hurts. <laughs> Mm. But it's only on the tongue. I don't feel like my face is burning up. I did cry a bit, but it wasn't due to the heat. Of like getting it in my eyes or anything. But yeah, we need ice cream for this. It's really nice. Mm. But yeah, I can't imagine this heat's gonna go away anytime soon. <laughs> yeah. That was a hot chip. Mm. Ice cream's melting everywhere. Please don't get on my laptop. Mm. It just won't go away. The ice cream does make it a lot easier to talk. But as soon as it's gone, the, your tongue just goes back on fire again. Yeah. That's going to be hot for ages. Oh, my. I know I'm fat, now you know why. <laughs> I don't actually eat this that often. Mm. God. Yeah, because I know it says you can use milk. But you don't want to do that. It's really hot. But it's all on the tongue. And it just doesn't want to go away. The heat just does not want to go away. The ice cream's lasting a bit longer. But then all of a sudden, 
it just feels like somebody's got a blowtorch and it's just burning your tongue with the tip of the blue flame mm. <laughs> that's really hot not like i said it doesn't burn your face and it doesn't um it doesn't um i don't feel like i'm getting hot like flushed or anything it's just my tongue just wants to die <laughs> and the ice cream is the only thing that's keeping it alive every time the ice cream goes the fire comes back with a vengeance oh my god i'm gonna try and do it without ice cream for a bit it's getting a bit blunter now i think the ice cream has had its effect oh no no it's not that is hot it tasted quite stale to begin with Mm. Mm. you need ice cream for this mm. you need ice cream Um, I mean kudos to anybody who can actually sit there and just and just leave your tongue on fire but the ice cream really works it, after a few scoops it does really blunt it um, Brad when he did it on his cinema snob channel he just used milk and he drank nearly four pints of it <laughs> mm. yeah you need ice cream first but yeah it, it hits you straight away really quickly um and at first you think you can handle it it's it's like impactive um and then it, you think oh, i can handle this i can handle this because it, it hits you very quickly but it's not like super fiery oh god even then the ice cream's working i must say to stress this i keep saying about the ice cream the ice cream's working for longer but then as soon as it wears away your tongue's back on fire again oh well yeah you think you can handle it but then it just reaches crescendo and you suddenly realize you have started a volcano in your tongue and that's not going away <laughs> if i was younger i'd still be in a lot of pain <laughs> but yeah yeah that pepper well over those peppers they've put on it they are hot but like i said it was all localized on the tongue i've had um, i've eaten spicy foods before because like i said me and my dad like spicy foods well we don't like spicy foods but we like to do occasionally like hot food challenges and i was contemplating sharing this with my dad but in the end he backed out and i thought to be fair to him after doing it i don't see why he hadn't uh i can see why he had um mm. I'll get diabetes at this rate as well. Yeah. Um, yeah. But we did a, a, like a hot sauce challenge where we had burgers. Um, veggie burgers because my dad's a vegetarian. And um, we started off with like half mayonnaise, half sauce. Then like three quarters sauce. One part mayonnaise when it came to the sauce of the burger. And then we had the final burger where it was just the sauce. And we were on fire. Um, but the sauce was only about... I think like a million scoville or maybe even less than that it might have been about half a million scoville um but the whole face was on fire because you've got the sauce around your mouth and your, your cheeks and all that and you're on fire with this though it's just localized on the tongue but even now after i'm trying to take a break from eating the ice cream it still stings like hell i wouldn't say it was a trip to hell and back though i've all gone snotty now oh god <laughs> I have to break this video up into two bits as well because uh, I can only film in 20 minute segments for some reason on this. Hmm. Um, yeah, I am not apologising for ice cream on this. I don't care. At least I've tried it. But it's wearing off now. But it still stinks like a bit. Oh god, I've got. Oh god, my nose is running like. Oh god. Oh god, I'm gonna have to clean it up. Right, back in a sec. Oh, sorry about that. I had to go clean up anyway, so yeah. Oh dear. But anyway, yeah, um, apart from that unpleasant gushing of the nose all of a sudden. <laughs> Tongue's a lot better now, it's just tingling now. I can put the ice cream back. But yeah, that's hot. Um, and I'm like I'm someone who's had hot foods in the past, so I was prepared for this. Um, and I've I have to be honest, I do feel a bit ashamed. 
that I use ice cream to blunt it. But when you're dealing with two million scova, which I've never dealt with before, you cannot afford to take any chances. Unless you know. Oh, a fucking nutter. Excuse my language, but still, there it is. So, yeah, the one chip challenge. That is one very hot chip. Ice cream on standby. I don't even think milk's going to cut it. And I know Brad struggled with it for about 10 minutes. But I have to be honest with you, when I got it, the chip was, when I tr tasted it, it was very stale. <laughs> it tasted stale. I don't know if it's out of date or not. Um, I don't think it is. There's no date on it. Um, sorry for the terrible camera shots, by the way. It's just, like I said, a primitive camera and all that. Um, but yeah, I don't think there's a date on it. Or if there is, I can't see it. Um, but yeah, the chip tasted quite stale. It, 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 it just tasted like a plain tortilla chip in a way, but it tasted a tad stale. Um, but I don't know. That could have been the way it was stored. But again, there's no date on it. Anything on the back? No, nothing. There's no date, so I don't know um, if, there, if it was made a while back. But either way, it wasn't unpleasant. The chip itself was stale, but if it wasn't, I imagine it tasted like a very nice tortilla chip. But yeah, that's hot. Right, well... At least I've done it. So, yeah, I, I have to say as well, I'm slightly mildly disappointed by it. But then again, I went straight to the ice cream. So, in a way, if I hadn't blunted it with the ice cream, I think I would be dead by now. Whew, who says ice cream kills you? Right, anyway, before we go, um, I was given this as a gift that came with it as well. This Holiday Reese's uh, Trees uh, Peanut Butterfield Candy. We all know what Reese's Buttercups are like. Uh, if you don't, then well, that might be for the best. But yeah, this was just sent from Canada, so I thought I'd end the video with this as my reward. So yeah, um, right, so we'll just have a look at it. It's a Reese's Buttercup as a tree. What more do you want? Um, I wonder what the ingredients are. A load of stuff that's boring. Right, let's just get it out and have a look. I mean, we do have Reese's Buttercups now here in uh, Britain, but um, I think the recipe's slightly different because of European food regulations, at least until we leave the European Union, although I have to be honest with you. I don't think we are, but um, whatever. I hope we do, but probably won't. But whatever, it doesn't matter. I don't want to get political. Point being is, is um, this is a very squidgy tree. It also like well, it also looks like a brown piece of turd. But I'm sure it'll taste unlike one. So Merry Christmas, all. Oh, um, oh God, peanutty. Yeah, just a soft. Reese's peanut butter cup in the shape of a tree. Not hot. It's just, just yeah. <laughs> Not unpleasant. Much pleasant compared to that thing. Cracky. Mmm. That was nice. I liked that. Well, there you have it. If you can find one of these and you want to, I don't know, share it with a mate or something or try and be brave in front of someone or impress that girl or man you fancy. Well, there are better ways to do it than this, but I've got to give kudos to the packaging. I love the packaging of this. And I think it's just one of those ideas where you think the one chip hot challenge. Yeah, why would you not try it? You've got to test yourself, haven't you? I like it. So much for the free gift, but oh well, it doesn't matter. I shall keep the box instead. That is a gift in itself. Right, I'm not dead. Hooray! Or boo, depending on how you feel about me. But either way, thank you for watching if you have done. Hope you got some enjoyment out of this. Take it easy. Have a good one. Hope you're well. And I will live to see you in another video. So, bye for now, and um, Merry Christmas. <laughs>